Hello, and oh. welcome back again. This is Jugglord Zero, and Fantasy Fight Games has just re announced two new units for Star Wars Legion. One Empire, one Rebellion. Both support units. I like both these units. Uh, both heavy weapon units. Let's get into them. Uh, the Empire has the E-Web Heavy Blaster Team. Uh, this is a single base with figures on it. Um, basically the Hoth heavy weapon uh, snow troopers uh, from, the, from Empire Strikes Back. This looks really good. Uh, really, I, I like these. I like them both. This one's really good too. Uh, this one has full pivot. When you pivot, you can pivot up to 360 degrees, which means because it's on a tripod, which helps. Uh, plotting during your activation you can perform only one standard move makes sense reposition uh, either before or after you perform a standard move you may perform a free pivot action that's handy and then sentinel your standby range is one to three um, now the weapon itself the e-web heavy blaster is cumbersome so you cannot move and fire that in the same turn but you can use the E-11 blaster rifle uh, to move and fire. <clears throat> uh, so, and that can fire in any direction, which is which is handy. Um, it has four health, red defense dice, and surges into crit hits, which is awesome. I like that. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, here's a movement option. Move and then uh, a 90 degree pivot. It comes with a couple of updated, uh, some new cards. Let's see if I can make this any bigger. No, okay. Well, we've got Barrage Generator, which is 10 points. And while performing a ranged attack with a weapon that has fixed, add two white attack dice and apply suppressive to your attack pool. Now I looked, this icon here is not in any other vehicles yet. Now, or any other units. It would be nice if it was, if it was, but it's not. I think that would just make it so much more powerful. But for 10 points, you get to add two attack white attack dice to your to your pool and apply suppressive <laughs> yes please that is awesome next we've got overcharge generator while performing a ranged attack with a weapon that has fixed add one black die and apply impact to your attack pool now this one is really good too once again it's got the new symbol and it's 10 points it they get exhausted though both this one and barrage generator uh, have to be exhausted um, but the fact of the since they're only 70 points each I think they can be pretty good with with a lot of other stuff there um, the the Imperial unit can move at least the rebel unit cannot we'll get into that in a little bit here so you have to be careful with placement on that one but these two are really good however <coughs> excuse me uh, however, I really like the HQ uplink. This one is 10 points and can go on any unit that has an, can has, can use an equipment slot during the issue order step of the combat phase, issue an order to yourself. Basically that means that the unit can issue an order to itself during the command phase. So it's an extra order every, t every round. It just makes it so that. Yeah, I, I think it's cool. I really like this this card, and I think this card is going to get is going to be very sought after and used a lot. I think personally, I could be wrong, could be very much wrong, but uh, yeah, the the E Web Heavy Blaster team only moves at a, at speed of one, fifty five points. Oh, I'm sorry, these are fifty five points. The um, Rebel One Seventy. Sorry. But 55 points and can have one of each of those, the equipment upgrade, let's say that's 10 points and then another 10 points, that's 20, so 75 points. 75 points for one of these is not bad at all. 
<clears throat> especially that E-Web Heavy Blaster has some good damage. Um, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a really good one, just because it moves. Uh, actually, I might use something like this for one of my videos I'm coming up with for uh, new, new factions. All right, so let's go on to the Rebel one here. The Rebel one is the 1.4 FD laser cannon team, also from Empire Strikes Back and on the Battle for Hoth, Battle of Hoth. As you can see here, comes with everything you need here. Comes with the exact same upgrades as the Imperial uh, Heavy Blaster Cannon. Right? Heavy Blaster Cannon? Oh, he E-Web Heavy Blaster Team. Yep. The E-Web. <clears throat> this has... This is 100% stationary, though. Cannot move. As you can see right here, has no movement. Uh... It has a full pivot, so it can pivot up to 360 degrees. Sentinel, um, stationary, cannot perform any moves except pivots. But its main weapon at, can go up to range 4 and has 5 black dice. That's pretty good with impact of 2. Um, and it surges into hits. With, and with impact, those hits can be turned into crits. So, if you ask me, I think this is really good, too. <clears throat> it's got the DH-17 Blaster Pistol. If we compare the two here... Uh, yeah, their Blaster Pistols have uh, more damage, range... But not as much range as the Imperial one. These are 70 points. Once again, you can have two upgrades. So, there's 90 points for one of these. These will be handy if you know... If the terrain's going to be somewhat open... Because you have to have line of sight. If you don't have line of sight, you're, it's not going to be any good to you. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be a really good, really good unit here too. Uh, once again, yeah, the barrage generator, the overcharge generator, HQ uplink. Um, both of these are due out, uh, supposed to be out in the third quarter of 2018. <clears throat> Uh, retail price looks like to be about 1990, not 1995 US dollars. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to both of these. These are going to be great additions. And honestly, what I thought the support unit should be is heavy weapons. Not necessarily big vehicles, but heavy weapons. And, and uh, so far, it's fit what I thought it should be. Uh, small vehicles and heavy weapons. We'll see what other units they have. Plus, I'll have my rebel, my uh, Star Wars Legion Rebellion uh, Rebels wish list up this weekend. Be sure to check that out. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please uh, hit that like button for me. If you want to keep up to date on other videos I post up, uh, please subscribe and rock that bell. Until next time, have a great day.